Hey Sunshines, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my Stitch Fix box to share with you and I have another fun theme. Now if you're new to my channel, you may not know this, but since the spring I have been requesting themed boxes from Stitch Fix. I've done an interesting necklines box, I've done a maxi dress box, I've done um, Mrs. Roper themed boxes, all kinds of really fun things. Now. There's two things that I think are happening when I do these. Number one, they're just fun. But number two, I feel like my stylist is sending me things that maybe she wouldn't normally send me, which I think is fun too. So my stylist has been up for the challenge of these themed boxes. So this one may have been her hardest one. I love jewel tones. I think with my skin tone and my hair, jewel tones look really great. Like for instance, this bright green shirt, this bright blue that I just added to my wardrobe, they look great. However, there's one jewel tone color that I just do not like, and that is the color purple. Love the movie, the color purple, do not like the shade purple. Loved it as a little girl. I'm a little more open to like lavenders, but um, I asked for a box with all purple items in it. I said, no purple bottoms, please. <laughs> so hopefully Catherine was up for the challenge and I am looking for my next themed box, but what do you guys think about letting my stylist pick the next theme? Like let her come up with it and surprise me. Catherine, if you're up for that, let me know. And let's go ahead and take a peek at what's inside. So Stitch Fix, in case you don't know, is a monthly clothing subscription box. You get five pieces of clothing. There's a $20 styling fee. If you buy one or more pieces, the $20 is credited back to your account. If you buy all five, you get a 25% discount. They do send you a postage paid envelope so you can send back anything you don't like or don't want. And that is right here. It's great. I like Stitch Fix because their envelopes are usually big enough so if you send a lot of things back you can fit them all in the envelope not every clothing company does that <laughs> wantable and <laughs> so thank you stitch fix for making sure you send us big enough envelopes so i do have a note for my stylist and let's go ahead and see and there's also a pricing sheet here so it looks like this and then there's also styling cards. I don't really talk about the styling cards very much, but they do put together style cards. So you can kind of um, decide how you want to pair your outfit or there may be ideas that you don't think about. So um, my stylist said, hey, Christy, hooray for finding another maxi to love. I'm excited to bring you this purple fix and I agree with your followers who think that purple is an awesome color for you. I mainly focused on deeper purples that work with your hair and skin tone like the Collective Concepts blouse. I think you will like the silhouette of this one too. It's long enough for your torso. That's awesome because I need long tops. The Market and Spruce jacket and the Nakamol earrings. I love Nakamol jewelry. I don't think she knew that. That's awesome. Um, are a lavender shade that have been a surprise hit this season. I wanted to be sure to include all shades of purple so that you and your followers could see lots of options. I hope you find something to love and can't, can't wait to hear for your next request. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a peek. So there is a pair of earrings. You can choose to get accessories and shoes. I don't get them very often, but I do like receiving them every now and then. So let's go ahead and look at the jewelry first. I'm such a jewelry girl. So not sad that she sent earrings. Come in a little Stitch Fix box. Oh, these are pretty. Okay, these aren't like super purple at all. They do have some purple stones in them, but they're sort of more like blushy pink with just a little purple thrown in. Those are really pretty. I think with blush pink or lots of fall colors, that, those would be gorgeous. Okay, I like those a lot. Those are pretty. All right, those may be a keeper. Let's look at the price of those. So Nakamol um, Viv beaded earrings are $38. Now I will say we've talked about this before, but I feel like I have to say it in every video. With clothing subscription boxes, you're gonna pay a little bit more. You don't have to go to the store, you don't have to drive and dig through things. Um, you don't have to spend your gas, you don't have to get the Annie Ann's pretzel at the mall, um, and you don't waste your time. So you are paying a little bit of a bigger price with subscription clothing boxes, which is fine for me because I do not like to shop. I like that it comes to my house. I like that I can try it on in the comfort of my house with other pants that I have or scarves or necklaces or jewelry and then send it back just as easily. So those earrings are super cute. And then here is my little bundle. So I do see all kinds of shades of purple. 
I think in my mind I was thinking jewel tone purple, but I did not say that to her. So I actually like that she sent like different shades. So the first little top is this gorgeous. Now I do love this shade of purple. This is sort of, I call it plum. This is gorgeous. This is the most beautiful little tank top. Now I would wear this under a gray, um, cardi in the winter or fall with booties this would be so pretty but i could also wear it in the summer this is a good fall transition color too so this is by serene i will do my best to link everything not link it but list it down below in case you want to request one of the pieces that i received and i will also put my stitch fix link down below okay so this guy is the Saren catherine keyhole detail blouse for $58. This is beautiful. I love this color and this is a great color for me. Okay, Catherine, you're knocking it out of the park. And honestly, with these earrings, I see where she was going now. These are perfect together. All right, two for two so far. All right, here's a little more purple. This is a collective concepts top. And this is a little sleeveless top. This is more, um, a little bit more of the jewel tone, a little darker. I'm Funny about florals, but I actually don't mind this floral. It's got some like detail down the front that looks like that, a little V-neck. And it's not, it's almost like a little cap sleeve. It's not a full like tank. So this guy is the Sussy Cap Sleeve Blouse for 54, okay. Not sure how I feel about this one. I think I like it, I'm gonna have to try it on. I, I'm not sure about the floral pattern for that one. Okay, the next little top looks like this. Now, right off the bat, I do not like this elastic waist. It's got this waist, I, I have it upside down, that does this, and I tend to find that when I lift up my arms, the shirt will rise up with the elastic waist. We will see when I put it on. The color's really pretty, though. I wish it just had a regular bottom. This is also by Collective Concepts. And this is the Mare Wrap Front Shirt for 54. Yeah, this one I'm not so sure about with that bottom. Okay, and then last but not least, um, she did send a jacket that's in this purple. I will say I'm not a jeans jacket girl. Um, I'm just not. I, I have a jeans jacket that I like, that I never ever wear. First of all, it's super hot here in the South. Second of all, I grew up in Florida where we never needed jackets, so I'm just weird about having like layers. I, I just feel claustrophobic like I'm in a straight jacket. A lot of you are like, that's my summer uniform is like a dress with a jeans jacket, but it's just not me. I actually love this color and I will try this on, but I don't love a jean jacket so this is probably going to be a no all right well i think at least two of the pieces i'm going to like so stay tuned for a quick try on and i'll be right back all right so here's the first piece and i love it i feel like i can wear this now with like tan sort of khaki colored shorts but i also feel like this is the perfect color to wear and in transition into fall it would look great under just a pretty blazer or with a blush or a gray cardigan on top of it. I think it just transitions really well from summer into fall. Here in the South, we have really mild falls. It doesn't get cold until really November. So when we wanna wear cardigans, we have to sort of wear a tank top or a short sleeve shirt under it or we just get too hot. So this will totally be worn through the end of summer and into fall and I really like it. All right, piece number one, check. <laughs> All right, so this top is a little bit of a surprise. Again, I love this plum color. It's so pretty. Now this is the one with the elastic and when I raise my hands up, it does not ride up. I will say though, here's the elastic and then it's got this almost little frill around it. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's a little wrap version. There is a little snap here, which I like. I don't know, tell me what you think. I'm gonna try something I've never tried before. So right here, I'm gonna pop up a poll. You need to click on that little, I think it says I or something. Click on that and down is gonna drop a box with a poll. Tell me what you think about this. Is this a yes or a no? The color is stunning, but I'm just not sure about this little flap. It's cute though. Okay, all right, so I left this shirt on and decided to just pop a little jacket with it. And I love this shade. It's really pretty, this dusky sort of lavender. I think it's really pretty. I was in a bunch of stores today. I did not buy anything. Well, I bought some stuff at Ulta, that's safe. Um, but I was in a bunch of clothing stores and it looks like colored denim. 
is going to be super in this fall, which is fun. But again, I'm just not a jean jacket girl. Like I just want to jump out of my skin right now wearing it. I feel like I'm in a straight jacket. I don't know. I can't really explain it, but this is beautiful, but I am going to pass on this particular piece. All right, I was totally prepared to not like this shirt either. And I think it's so pretty. I love it. The only thing I have to say about the shirt, and I think it's gonna make it a no, is if you have stuff under here, like I call this my cinnamon roll, we're gonna call this my cupcakes. I don't know, you got a better term for it. Um, it cuts really unflattering right here. It's like too far forward. Uh, I don't like that, but I love this top. I love the color. I even like the floral pattern, believe it or not. I just wish it wasn't cut so funny under the arms. So this one's gonna be a no, and I'll try on the earrings and then do a recap for you, so stay tuned. Okay guys, I can't even tell you how much I've stressed over this box uh, leading up to it coming to me because I didn't want my stylist to work so hard and then me not buy anything because I picked a theme that was just impossible for her, knowing that I don't like purple. My stylist rocks. Catherine, you are amazing. Here are the earrings and they're so cute. They have all these pretty beads. I think they even go with this green shirt. They have great movement. They're beautiful. So those are a definite keeper. The one bummer of the box is this shirt. And you guys, I love this color. This color is like one shade darker than a jewel toned purple. And I think it's my perfect purple shade. But I just feel like it's important to know how to dress your body to make it look the best. And the cut under the arm for me just was a no-go. And so that's why this is a no. It's beautiful. I'm really sad to let this top go. The little lavender jeans jacket I think is beautiful. I do like this shade also. See, I do like purple. I keep saying that I don't, but I, I do like purple. <laughs> um, but I just don't really like jeans jackets. But again, based on what I saw in the stores today, colored denim is going to be hot for fall. Um, this piece is amazing. Again, I feel like it's a great fall transition piece. I can wear it now with shorts. I can put it on under blazers and cardigans. And so this is really a great piece to have, especially this time of year going forward. And then I'm going to check the poll and see what you think about this top. See what the vote was. I, th I think it's pretty. I think it's sort of a raspberry color. I don't mind the floral print of it. And I do like the little elastic that it stays down. So this may be a maybe. Um, again, I'll check the poll. I'm super excited excited for this theme that I found a couple of things and again that's why I think themed boxes are so fun they get you out of your comfort zone and make you try on other things so for my next theme I'm either going to let Catherine pick a theme for me something that she would like to see me wear because she's been my stylist at least a year and a half and she watches my videos so I feel like she knows me so I'm either going to let her pick the theme or if she's not comfortable with that I'm just going to ask for fall transition pieces in my next box because my next box will come in in April and quite honestly once September or August excuse me not April and once September first hits pumpkin spice is here and fall is in full swing whether we're ready for it or not so I may ask if Catherine's not jumping on board to the letting her pick a theme just having her pick some fall transitions for me i hope you enjoyed this video my name is christy please consider hitting that subscription button and giving this video a thumbs up it really does help me out and i'll see you soon for a future video bye bye guys